So we're doing the final touches now to get it running. Um, we're just changing these brake pads around because the wheel doesn't move, as you can see. Super tight. Um, Brennan's wiring up the boost gauge. And um, we put the sticker on the side the other day when we were at the shop. Um, I put a little video in from when that happened. But yeah, so we're going to do this and then ready for a ride. So, wheels are on, bumpers on, boost gauge is in, we'll go have a look at that when we go for our drive. And this is going to be my first time here in the car, so let's start her up. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be good. No knocking. No knocking this time. Oh, i got to take it um, pull it off first though. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh yeah, we also need a um, we will see what we'll do to this, just so we can So usually some... this idle control valve goes into um, the intake piping, but because I um, because I got intercooler piping made up, I forgot to, I thought because I was running a map sensor I could flank that off, but it won't idle with it blanked off. So what I think I'm going to do is get an inline one-way valve, because apparently they leak boost when uh, positive pressure comes up from the turbo, but see how it goes, it idles without it and I haven't tried it with running without it so we'll see how it goes excited to go in this car and see what it's like after all these years and all this time working on it. Um, let's hope we don't run into any police because that's going to cause trouble. And Brennan's bloody happy. Yeah buddy, let's take it for a drive. We're just going to get fuel on it and then um, we'll check it at the petrol station. We'll take it back and then we'll check it again. Okay. And then that means we can roll it. Oh shit. That sounds, that sounds so good. But it's not like ear piercing as well, which is me. <laughs> Now, um, how much boost do you reckon we're hitting? 
Going just five psi. Yeah, so around five psi. Uh, running, we're uh, running to how much do we want to run? Like ten. That's what we. Uh, yeah. It's got a ten psi wastegate spring in it. Should be alright when it's done. Yeah. Still struggling to idle. I don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out later. Go back to the shed, um, check it out once more, make sure it's all good still, and then um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Check the oil level and stuff like that. Can you check left? Uh, yeah, yeah, good. Good. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. something when we came on boost felt like something popped get on underneath Oh, I see a ring here that's come off. Yeah? Yeah, have a look. Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Just come off then. Oh, yeah, I see it. Luckily, bought my tool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just hold it there. Keep back in. Back at the shed, the um, first initial test drive went all right. What do you think, Brennan? Yeah, pretty good, pretty stoked. Uh, just the thing I need another silicon joiner for the intake, yeah, uh, intercooler piping because it's like not cut very straight. But now it's running, man. So, we get... goes hard, mate. What we're gonna do is drive to my place, I think, get some miles on it, and go wash it. And just drive her around, get some miles on there. Because why the not? <laughs> I'll beep that out. Don't want to get a band like some fing band our video last time. Yeah, we should bring that out. I don't know what to do. Well, you, gotta... you gotta drive it anyway, so. Get, get all our tools. Alright, so it's the next day. The um, camera died, sorry guys. But we've got a few things we need to do first before we try to get this uh, semi legal. Um, we got a turbovini in here as well because the bonnet's getting really hot um, with the turbo heating up. And then we've got a filter because right now it's just sucking in air and it's no good. Brendan's still wearing the same clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that's a good fit. No, it's not. I thought you said it fit. What did that? Where? 
Wait, what? Nah, man, it's shit like palm. Yeah. Hopefully the turbo bean is the right size. Is that a duck? Is that a duck? Um, What's your thoughts on the car, how she's running? Yeah, it's good. I'm a little bit surprised actually how good. Yeah. But uh, I don't want to jinx it, so yeah. We're also only running five pounds. We're supposed to be running ten, so we've got a boost leak we somewhere. That one oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we think this is our reason for the boost leak here. So we're, I don't know if we're going to fix that today or what, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, sleep. It's real tight. Put this on there. This spot, too hot. No, 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 do it. I can <laughs> settle over it, maybe. Do it, do it, do it. Oh yeah, so do you want to explain how you get your car legal in New Zealand so people know what we're up to? Yeah. What a fitness rejoice to? Um, so, you got... Talk loud because it's raining as well. <laughs> you got what they call sit uh, in New Zealand, so you've got a little plate here. An inspector comes and inspects your car, signs off on all the modifications. He bolts that to it and then you can get a WAF, a uh, warrant of fitness. From then on, it's <laughs> just my sister. <laughs> um, after the Warren of Fitness, uh, Warren of Fitness is like an inspection as well, except it's just a month, uh, six monthly. Uh, every six months, every car needs it, but a cert, only modified cars need them. Uh, it, it specifies in the cert plate like turbo, uh, wheel size, adjustable suspension, anything you want to put on there, you can pretty much put on there. So now it's, as it sits now, it's not legal because the turbo. Um, the race seats and different size wheels, but um, we're going to try and get a waft today anyway, a warrant um, today anyway. We'll give it a go. Yeah. We'll see how it goes, and then uh, if not, then I have to get it reserved. We always go to this guy that um, passes us for things that we uh, shouldn't get passed on, but we're not going to disclose his name so he doesn't get in trouble. But yeah, yeah, that's real wet. Some real wet rain. We are so. Wait, where? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. So, Brendan just made this little little thing um, to try sucking some air. Um, we're going to see if it idles with it. <laughs> oh. It's idling. Well, I'm excited to see if it makes more boost. Oh. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Oh, it's vibrating a lot. Keep going, keep going. Keep no, it vibrates, it'll spin out of the thing. Go drop, put down my window. We just stopped at um, Carl's Jr. for a fee. We had a really rude person give us our mail. Yeah, exactly. She was a, she was a bit of a bitch. Yeah, you gotta get that mail for your chips. Eat that good, good. Mm, eat that. I don't like their new chips though. Eat that. They used to have the skin on. Yeah. Now they make it. Um, so this was only nine bucks and you get two burgers and chips. I don't know how much is it in America, but I don't know what Brandon got. So after this, we're gonna go hopefully get our off. 
We're not going to show you where we're going to go for our waft though, because we don't want it to get. We don't want the guy to get in trouble just in case we get a waft. I'm like, I'm 50-50 on whether we're going to get a waft or not, but either way, it's all good. Yeah. If I don't get it, I just need to get a set and then get a waft. If I do get it, no set, no set. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see what happens. We'll bring you along with us. Sweet. Yeah. She said she working for Wobbles, but not in the store at the head office. Your hair was so good, it makes sense why you work at the head office. In 2007, I sat in the lobby of...